All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. This is Tracy and Push Me, Push Me Live. So hopefully some of you are out there able to join. We're going on week three of our virtual outreach and ho um, we hope that you've been enjoying the classes and the stuff that we've been putting out. Uh, we'd love to hear your comments. Um, if there's other ways that we can help support you at home, uh, please let us know. We'll get started here in maybe a minute or two. You will need uh, a medium set of weights for sure. If you happen to have a heavier set of weights uh, around, then go ahead and grab those two. I'm gonna be using two sets myself today. Um, but if you don't have them, that's okay. The medium set will work just fine. So, all right. Hopefully everybody enjoyed their weekend and was able to get out into the awesome sun that we had we rode rode bikes a lot sammy sammy learned how to ride his two-wheeler so he's been uh he's been my little pacer <laughs> these last couple days i've never run so much in my life so i'm being challenged that's for sure hey jen thanks for joining us hey judy miss you judy hope you're doing well really looking forward to getting back in the club with everybody i miss you guys a lot so this is good that we get to see each other this way, but it's just not quite the same because, well, I can't see you, so. All right, so we will go ahead and get started here. Again, you need um, a medium set of weights for sure. If you have a heavier set, then go ahead and grab those as well um, and have them nearby. We are gonna be doing a little bit higher reps today, um, but I'm confident that even with that heavier set, you will do great. Let's go ahead and get warmed up. All right, have some water nearby. We've got a few drills today that we're going to be hitting for our cardio to get that heart rate up. So let's just start with a jog in place. I'm going to move my mat. We will be coming down to the floor towards the end of the workout. I guess we've got some push-ups and a little bit that we'll be doing for our core towards the end. So if you want a mat for that, of course, always have that nearby. Easy march or jog, just getting the body warmed up. Get a little closer. Good. Sit back to a squat, please. Good. Weight in your heels. Keep your chest lifted. There we go. Knees coming out over the middle of your foot. And we're driving those hips through. Two more. Let's add a knee lift with that. So give me that squat again. And lift your right knee. Lift your left knee. Using your core to bring that knee up high towards your chest. Good. Listen to your knees and hips. We're just getting started here. So if you don't want to go too low just yet, that's fine. Let's hold that squat and pulse. Stay low. Chest is lifted. Abs are braced. Good. Ooh, four more. Four. Three, two, you're gonna take your right leg, step it back for a long lunge, tilt forward, leaning into that left leg. If you want, bring your hands down to the floor. Spread your fingers, feel that left hip open up. Let's step forward, bring it up, switch sides. Send your left leg back, bring your hands down to the floor. Nice big stretch to that right hip. All right, this time, hands stay down. Let's step that right foot back, hit a plank. Knees or toes is up to you. The gaze is forward, belly button in. There we go, a few more seconds, guys. Here's four, three, Two, walk your feet forward, walk your hands back. Let them meet, bend your knees. Round and release up the top. Take that right leg, swing it front to back. Get that hamstring warmed up a little bit. Toes point up. One more, step together, switch sides. This should feel pretty good right here. Four more, four, three, Good, two, let's take it back to that march or jog, guys. Here we go. 
Bring that heart rate back up a little bit. So remember how important it is to brace through your core, okay? Because that's going to help absorb some of the shock when we do moves that have high impact. If you choose to take those on, bracing through that core not only allows us to perform well and have good power, but it helps protect our knees, hips, and the joints below. Feet out wide this time, wide squat. Toes turn out and knees open up. Getting a little bit more through our inner thigh here. Four, three. So we're gonna add a leg lift with this again. This time we're coming across. Let's keep it on the right side. Sweep it across. Rotate a bit through that torso. Four more. Make sure you're setting your feet back out wide. Two to go. Last one. Switch sides. Left leg goes. Squat. Push across. I'm kind of lifting my heel in towards the middle of my body. So my toes turn out and I hit that inner thigh. One more. Wide pulsing squat. Stay low. Chest is a little bit more lifted on knees. Tailbone straight down. Four. Three. Two. And stand it up. Good job, guys. All right, let's get into the workout. I see that my ch children moved my weight, so I need to grab one more. We are starting off with push-ups. Excuse me. I'm going to grab my other 12. Okay, so like I said, two sets of weights if you have them. This is a set where we're going to be using the heavier weights if you've got them. All right, let's start off with some push-ups. We have 15 push-ups, guys. We're doing two rounds today. 15 reps on all of our moves. Fingers are spread out. Hands slightly wider than your shoulders. Here we go, take it down. Now, if you can do at least one on your toes, I want you to start there. Then come to your knees when you need to. How do you know if you need to? If you break form, if you don't get the range of motion, which is chest to elbow height. This one makes 10, guys. Five to go. Five, four, three, two, one more. We are coming up to shoulder press next game. So grab that heavier set. Strict press, no legs involved. I like to step one foot back, press it up overhead, bring those weights together, and then back down, elbows just under shoulders. Here we go. Again, 15 of these. If you feel like you need to alternate your arms, you can start to do that as a modification. Good. Weight is even in your feet. Abs braced. Here's seven, six, five. Good job, guys. Four, stay with it. For three, two, last one. Ooh, that's a tough combo. Good job. Bring that back foot in. If you've got it back there, hinge forward, palms facing me. We have an underhand grip row. All right, so palms are forward, elbows drive straight back. I'm going to turn to the side. Flat back. Ready? Here we go. Pull, release. Weight is in your heels. Your knees should be over your ankles. Drive those elbows back up high. Seven to go. Seven, six, five, four, here's three, two, last one. Great job, guys. Set your weights down and we're getting into our first drill. All right, so our one minute drill, this one's gonna have some transition. We have mountain climbers and we have butt kicks. We're gonna be doing about 30 mountain climbers, okay? 30 total, 15 each leg. 15 butt kicks. We cycle through that for one minute of time. Transition as best you can. We're gonna start off together and then it's on you, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. 30 mountain climbers, 15 butt kicks. That is total for each of those. Are we ready? Bring it down to the ground. Good morning, Manu. All right, here we go. On your marks. Get set, go. 10, 3, 2, that was 30 for 
me. Come on up. 15 butt kicks total. 10, 13, 14, 15. Then I'm back down to mountain climbers. You're running through it for a minute. You cycle through at your pace. You do not have to run the mountain climbers. You can march them. No problem. Same with the butt kicks. Heel back, low impact. Just keep your pace up. Make it quick for you. Good. Chest is proud on those butt kicks, guys. Knees point down. 10 seconds, gang. Get as far as you can. Three, two, and rest. Good. Move around a little bit and grab yourself a drink. Whew. All right, let's hit that set again. Starting off with those push-ups. Bring it down to the mat. Hey, Tom. Tom, Tom's here, everyone. All right. 15 more push-ups, guys, and then we're done with push-ups for today. All right, do your best. Start off on your toes again. Even if it's just for the first couple, brace your core. Ready? Here we go. 15. Try to look towards the front of your mat or a bit in front of you, maybe about two feet. So not back at your toes. But then also not up at me at the camera, right? We want to keep our neck neutral. You guys know what a push-up looks like. I've got 10, five to go. Five, four, whew, three, two. Last one, guys. Finish your 15, if you didn't quite get there. And then go ahead and stand up. Let's hit that shoulder press again. Here we go. Weights are up. One foot back if you want. Ready? 15 overhead. Here we are. Bring those weights together. Good. That foot that's behind you isn't too far back there. It's just a little kickstand to help with some low back support so we don't have this big sway in our back. Squeeze your glutes a little bit. Keep your hips under your shoulders. <laughs> Manu, I need your count. You're usually my counter. I think we're at 10 on this one. <laughs> Let's do five more, guys. Five, four, three, two, last one. Woo, good job. Bring it forward. Palms forward, roll those shoulders back, shoulder blades into your spine. Arms are long, drive it back. Underhand rows. Move your hands and weights back towards your hips. Kind of in that direction, okay? You don't have to hit your hips. But you're not just pulling them up. That's a bicep curl. Pull back. There you go. Flat back. Shoulder blades stay in towards your spine so you're not rounding. Five, four, three, Two, last one. Excellent job, guys. Set your waist to the side. We're gonna hit that one minute drill again. All right, 15 butt kicks, 30 mountain climbers. Let's start on the butt kicks this time, why don't we? Since we're already standing. Ready? One minute of your time, guys, then we break. On your marks, get set, go. 15 total. Then hit those mountain climbers as fast as you can. Hips down. Hands under your shoulders. Then come on up and hit it again. I know sometimes that transition from low to high is tough. So get your bearings. Make sure you feel ready to go. If you need a second to kind of let your head Get in the game again, that's fine. That being said too, if you feel it's better just to keep hitting the butt kicks or just stay on the mountain climbers, 
You can do that too. You got 10 more seconds. I want you to sprint it in. Five, three, two, rest. Good job, guys. All right, grab a drink. Whew. Round one is done. On to round two. All right, your medium set is coming into play here. As well as maybe one of your heavies, if you've got that heavy weight. All right, so we're gonna start off with that one heavy weight. If you don't have one heavy, you can take one of your mediums, or you can take both of your mediums, you're gonna smash them together. All right, this is that kind of squeeze or crush grip front raise that we've done before in class. So either both mediums smash together or one weight end to end, okay? Roll those shoulders up, back, and down. And then press your hands, crush that weight or those weights. Light bend in the elbow, lift to chest, and lower. Here we go, 15. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that weight. Good. Keeping that pressure on the weight engages your chest and biceps a bit more and your core. You should feel kind of your abs brace a bit more when you do that. Five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Awesome. Okay, medium set, everyone. We're doing one full, one half bicep curl and we've got 15 of all of that okay so 15 of the combo ready one full bicep curl chest up one half just come to 90 full half that's two you've got it all the way up now half good sink into your stance elbows stay under your shoulders so squeeze your armpits against your sides if you've got a precious piece of paper there that you don't want to lose. This is about halfway, guys. Good job. Stay with it. Eight. Half. Nine. Good. Woo. Biceps should be nice and warm now. Five more of that combo. Here's five. Half. Four. Three, good, last two, all the way up, halfway, last one, all the way up, now half, awesome, all right, back to one of those heavies, one heavy or one medium, we're going around the world, all right, we go from right, left ear to right ear, and back, left, right, and back, a little shoulder mobility here, we're trying to keep that weight as close to our head as possible. Good. So we're doing all 15 in this direction, and then next set we'll hit 15 the other direction. Keep your core braced so you don't have a lot of hip action here, right? Hips stay under the shoulders, around and forward, around and forward. Four, three, this one should feel pretty good. One more, keep the weight behind your head. Take it up, extensions. 15, 14, hitting those triceps. One foot can go back, elbows in tight, point them towards the ceiling. Good. Seven, squeeze the back of that upper arm. Six, five, here's four, three, Two, last one. Awesome, weight down, guys. Weight down. Clear your space. All right, our next drill. 15 jumping jacks, low impact or high impact, five burpees. And we've done lots of variations of burpees. That low impact option is a squat, one foot back, in and up. And your hands can go to the floor or stay lifted. You all know the high impact option, I'm confident of that. 15 and five, back and forth, one minute of time. Ready, set, go. Get as quick as you can. 
on these jacks. Five. There's my 15. I'm gonna hit five burpees. You can jump at the top if you want. You can stand. And again, that low impact option. One leg goes back. That's five for me. I'm back to my jacks. This is you guys. You're the only one that you're competing against. You've all got it in you to push yourselves. Come on. It's a little bit harder when you're home by yourself. I can't see you. Pretend like I can. Come on. Almost there, 10 more seconds. Get as far as you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. All right. Grab a quick drink. Moving on to set two of round two. Hi, Mary Jane, good morning. All right, guys. So that one heavy, well, you can crush your two mediums together, holding it on the sides, giving a nice squeeze, elbows slightly bent, abs drawn in. Here we go, 15, right to chest height. Make sure you're not rounding your shoulders. That's where the slight bend in the elbows will help. If I straighten my arms out, then I'm gonna be here. So bend those elbows, open up your chest. Proud chest. Good, seven more, seven. Keep pressing those hands on that weight. Six, five, four, three, two, one more. Excellent, medium set gang. Bicep curls, one half, one full. Ready? Here we go, one full, one half. I don't care how you do your bicep curls. If you wanna do hammer curls, I'm doing a little rotation with mine, you can do that. Just bend that elbow, fully straighten. That's what I care about. Get a totally straight arm, all right? Don't cut it short. And then keep those arms tight against your sides so that those elbows don't come forward at all. They stay right under your shoulders. That's seven, gang. Whew. Eight, squeeze the front of that upper arm. Now really think about what we're doing in this move. Squeezing that bicep, don't just go through the motion. This makes 10 guys, stay with it. 10, halfway. All right, let's hit five more. Full, half, full, half, three more. Woo, three, two. All right, one more gang, all the way up. On halfway, good job. All right, set it down. Grab that one heavy again if you've got it, or you can use one of your mediums. We're going right shoulder to left shoulder this time. Ready? Around the world. 15 times. And this should feel pretty good. Secure your core. Secure your hips. So again, we're not taking our hips around the world. Not this. Lock it in. Just those shoulders. Take it back as far as you can. Ladies, I know sometimes ponytails get in the way. <laughs> Do the best you can. We can fix our hair later. <laughs> All right, three more. Three, two, keep your arms behind your head. Ready, elbows in tight, take it up. If you want, give me that crush grip back. Press your hands strongly against that weight. Good, get those shoulders a bit more involved. Elbows in tight. Five to go. Five, four, three, two, one more. Woo, good job. All right, guys, set your weight down. Let's hit that drill one more time. 15 jumping jacks, five burpees. Maybe you remember how many times you got through it on that first set. Try and get a little bit further this time. All right, I've got my eye on the clock. We'll go in four, 
three, two, hit it, go, 15. Let your heels come towards the floor on your jacks. And then five burpees, any way you know how. Make them quick. Brace your core. If you're hitting that plank, then back through it. Nice, good job guys. Whew, feels good to wake up this way. Bringing that heart rate up, getting a little sweaty, or maybe a lot sweaty. You guys have 15 seconds. lunge, okay? That forward stepping lunge sometimes bugs people's knees. So if that bugs your knee, just keep with the rear stepping, all right, for all 15. We're doing 15 total. Right leg is your mover. Ready? Step forward. Whichever leg is in front is the heel that you're driving through. Toes are forward. Arms are secure to your sides, just like when we were doing our bicep curls. Squeeze those armpits down so that they're not swinging. Nine, 10, 11, good. 13, shoulders over hips, aiming for 90 degrees. Last one, good, step together. Hold your weights up close, starting with that right leg. Cross behind, curtsy, come center, switch left. Two, so alternating curtsies. Three, weights in close, four. Good, turn those back toes out a little bit. <laughs> I got a leg on this one, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I like this move too. Nice job guys, almost there. Let's go five more. Five, four, three, two, one more. Lose the weights for me. Find a squat hold. Take it down, feet just outside the hips, chest is lifted. Hold for five, three, two, stand it up, sit back into that hold. Five, I'm gonna show you an option, three, two, Stand it up or hit a jack. Five, three, two, one, go. Five, you got it. Three, two, one, go. Five, three, two, one, go. Nice job, guys. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Three. Two, one, go. One more time. Three, two, go. Hit the hold. Five, three, two, one. Stand it up. Okay, your drill is on the mat. All right, so go ahead and grab your mats out. We're coming on down. Here we go. This one we're going to be moving together on, okay, gang? Let me get this a little lower. Oops. There we go. Can you see me maybe? Yes, perfect, okay. Bicycles. Opposite shoulder, opposite knee. Good. Now when I say 
because I want you to hold whatever leg you've got extended and that shoulder up. You're just gonna freeze in the movement. Pause. Lower your straightened leg. Lift that shoulder a little higher. Now go. Rotate. Pause. Lower that straightened leg. Now go. You've got 30 more seconds. Pause. Now go. Seconds, guys. Pause. Keep those bellies braced. Now go. Lower back towards the mat. Move your shoulders. Now pause. Four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees. Woo, go on up. All right, gang. Not too bad for a drill, right? <laughs> sure. Come on back up to standing. Hitting that pendulum lunge again, guys. Grab those weights, left leg is your mover. Standing tall and proud, this is your final round. Ready, left leg comes forward and lunge. Take it back, that's two. Chest is lifted, sink into your front heel, whichever one it is. Back knee drops to the floor, front knee bends towards 90, get as close to that as you can. Three more, gang. Forward, three, back, two, forward. All right, step together. Hold your weights in close. Elbows down, abs brace. Left leg goes first. Squat, left leg crosses behind. Come center. Two. Watch your equipment around you. Good. Try and stay low in that squat. Eight, nine, ten. Here's five more. Four, three, two, one more, guys. Woo! Lose the weights. Lose the weights. This time, wide squat hold. Toes turned out. Chest is a bit lifted. We did this in warm up. Knees press open. Now go. Hit that wide squat again. Weight in your heels. Go. Go. Good job. Remember, you have the option to just stand up. Three, two, one, go. Right there, hit the squat again. Three, two, one, go. Get low, guys, you got it. Three, two, one, go. You know what's next, we get to come to the mat. Three, two, one, go. So hit this last set hard. Go. Three, two, one, go. Woo, we're almost there. Go, five more. I'm having you do five more with me. Go, I'll count fast. Go, three more. Go. I'm picturing the groans. I'm picturing the smiles, go. <laughs> Go, hit the squat hold, hit it. Three, two, one, stand it up. Woo, awesome guys. Hit the mat again, we're doing something a little different this time, okay? So come on down. You've got a pulsing crunch. And then we're gonna hold a leg extension, okay? This is called iron cross. So iron cross, I don't you imagine, arms are out wide like a T and legs are both extended as low as you can. Head can rest on the mat, all right? I know that's a little bit hard to see. So both legs are extended, they're lowered down, and my arms are out like a T. And then I'm gonna bring it in. So when I say go, you're pulsing. Pulsing, crunch, knees at 90. Go for me. And then when I say pause, let's try it, pause, extend your legs straight, Extend those arms, you can rest your head. Now go. 
Reach towards your heels, pulsing crunch. Pause, extend, hold. If you need to extend just one leg, you can. Now go. Good. Pause, extend. Woo. Now go. 30 seconds, guys. Ribs to hips here. Pause. Now go. Chin is slightly tucked. Reach, reach, reach. Pause. You have 15 seconds, guys. Now go. Pause. 10 seconds. Hang in there. Now go. This will be your last time. Pause for five, four, hold it, three, two, and one. Rest. Pump those knees in. Woo, you did it. So good, guys. So good. Stay here. Let's put our left foot down. Take your right leg up. Stress through that hamstring. So foot is flexed. Draw your toes gently towards you. Awesome. Cross that right leg over your left. Keep your foot flexed to protect your knee. And then if you've got it in you today, lift that left foot off the ground. I don't quite have it in me today. Like I said, Sammy's been making me run a bit more. Lily, too. Switch your legs. Hamstring stretch. Flex your foot. Think about lowering your hip towards the floor. Now let's cross. Foot is flexed. If you want, lift that right foot off the ground. All right, come on up, gang. Let's come to standing again. Take your right foot back, tuck your hips through. Stretch through that hip flexor. You should feel that through the front of that right hip. Chest is lifted, arms can come behind, open up the chest. Good, step together, switch your sides. Left foot back, tuck those hips through. And then let's bring the arms in front. Round through that upper back. Let your chin drop. All right, bring it on in. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. One more time, deep breath. And exhale. Great job today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will see you guys again, or see some of you tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. for the Shred Me class. Um, Zumba tonight at 5.30 with Amy, so check that out live on Facebook, and uh, we hope to see you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.